um, being at home at the moment um, can be challenging in terms of still uh, keeping your exercise and mobility levels up. Um, but there are quite a few simple um, things we can do at home to keep ourselves moving, keep the blood flow going. Um, and all you really need is a chair or you can use a bench. I'm going to take you through a series of some exercises um, that you can do at home to keep yourself mobile. With all these exercises, we want to try and do about 10 to 15 reps of each one. Um, making sure, of course, though, that if you do feel any discomfort or pain, um, don't continue. Um, but these are fairly gentle exercises, um, really just designed to keep you moving and feeling good. Okay, so with the chair here, I'm going to just start with the chair in front of you. Now, the chair is here just to assist us with some balance. Um, you don't have to hold on to the chair if you're feeling like your balance is quite good. It's okay to be a little bit wobbly, um, but I don't want you to feel like you're going to fall over. So please just make sure that the chair is there. So as I said, about 10 reps of all of these, I'll take you through this little series. So standing nice and tall, feet are about hip width apart. I'm just going to start off with some calf raises. So just slowly rising up onto the balls of the feet and then controlling that movement as you come down. If your balance feels okay and you don't feel you need to hold on to the chair, and get the shoulders going by taking the arms out in front as you lift and lower. So we want to do about 10 of those. Then from here, we turn to the side, again using the chair for support if needed, working through the outside leg. We're going to slowly take the leg out to the side and then lower down with control. To increase the challenge, we try not to place the foot all the way back down onto the mat. So the whole time we're balancing on this inside leg. But of course, if you need to, for support, feel free to lower it down between each rep. Again, we want to work to about 10 to 15 reps. And then we would repeat to the other side. From here, turn back to face the chair. Coming into some little squats, feet hip width apart. Gently droning the tummy, stick the bottom out like you're sitting down in a chair and then pressing up. Once again, if your balance feels okay, we can bring in some arm movements. So taking the arms out in front, reach them forward and then lower the arms down as you stand tall. Making sure that the knees track over the toes. Working through a range that feels comfortable. You can just do a small movement if your knees are a little bit sore. Another option with the squats is that we can again use the chair and we simply go into sit to stand from here. You can have your arms out in front to make it a little bit more challenging. We pop the hands on the hips or hands into the small of the back. We want to keep the movement slow though, thinking about hinging through the hips and then standing tall, squeezing into your bottom as you do so. We're going to think about pressing up through the heels. That will help with that activation into the bottom muscles. Once again, we want to work to about 10 reps with these. From here, we'll continue to use the chair. If we turn it here. And we'll do a little bit of mobility through the upper body. So from here, just going to interlace the hands behind you. Now you can either take them straight behind you or if your shoulder range is okay, reach them behind the back of the chair. Focusing on opening through the front of the chest. So we're thinking about squeezing the shoulder blades together. And let's take a few deep breaths into the front of the chest. Then we'll take the hands out in front. So we're gonna knock the chin into the chest, scoot through the tummy, press forward. Take some nice deep breaths into the back of the chest. And let's think about stacking tall. So we're going to breathe in, press up to the ceiling. We can do a side stretch from here. Breathe out, stretching across. Inhale, re-stack. Exhale, reach across to the other side. Feeling that length through the waist. A nice stretch between the ribs as well. Reaching across. Back to the center, lower the arms down, and then let's give the shoulders a bit of a rock. 
From here, just slide the hands under your thighs. Let's stretch out the neck a little bit. That can get a bit stiff if we're sitting a lot. Draw the chin in, dip the ear down towards your shoulder. Turn to look down to the armpit on that same side. Make sure that you're still sitting nice and tall. We're gonna keep breathing. Let the shoulders sink and soften as you exhale. Take your gaze back to the centre, draw the head up, draw the chin in, so they dip the ear down towards the other shoulder. Look down to that armpit on that same side. Keep a little bit of a squeeze between the shoulder blades. Keep breathing. Take your gaze back to the centre and then draw the head up. Once again, just give the shoulders a little bit of a rock. So you can see there, it only takes a few minutes. If you aim to do that little routine two to four times a day, um, that'll keep the blood flow going, it'll keep you nice and mobile, um, boost a few happy hormones too, us being stuck inside. Um, feel free to contact us if you would like any other tips on keeping active at home. Otherwise, take care. Thank you.